Eh, kwanza nifahamishe unaitwa nani jina lako? My name's Alona Ucheng. Yeah, my birth name Lona Ucheng. Lona Ucheng. Wewe ni mzaliwa wa wapi? Kwenu ulikozaliwa ni wapi? I'm born in Kano Plains and married in Lagos Siaya. So I'm from Kisumu County, married in Siaya County. Yes. Yeah. Unajua Kiswahili kidogo kidogo? I'll mix. Kidogo sana. Eh hicho kidogo ndio tunakitaka hicho. Sio ngumu si ndio? Sasa ulianza lini kuimba hii traditional? Uh, I've got three this is my third year now. My third year in music. Cultural music. Yes. Cultural music. Before that? Ah uh, before that uh, I was just uh, working. I was an office one of the ministries. Yeah, with the National Shields and Police the Police Board. Hey, Dunga. Uh, this is Dunga Beach, Kisumo. Dunga Beach is a tourism attraction beach for the tourists to come in because of the Lake Victoria, one of the tour sites. Yes, and this is where I am. I am selling fish in my hotel here, but a mix of music also. I've got uh, now 50 years. 50 years. Na watoto wako wanaimba hii kama we? No one sings. It's only me. I thought of reviving my cultural heritage music, which I saw, I saw and thought was dying. Other musicians are just singing uh, westernized music, but me I thought of re reviving my cultural, low cultural heritage music to maintain it. The kind of music which was being played long, long time ago by our four great, by our great fathers, and it's left. It's not being touched, so I'm trying to maintain it and to revive it, so to show it to the outside country. Sasa watu kina nani wanakuja hapa, mpenda hii? Mostly, you know, this is Dunga Beach. It's a tourism attraction. So mostly, whites come here. When they come, I tap them. So they come here, I play for them. I can be also called to go and perform other places, the kind of music I'm playing, because it's very few, very few people does it. It's only me with my band. My band is called Cultural Lone, uh, Lone Africa Ohangla. Lone Africa Ohangla. Lone Africa? Lone Africa Ohangla. Wanini Lone? Because I'm an African woman, I'm playing Ohangla. So Ohangla, there is Ohangla there, which is called Ohangla. Another boy was playing it there. Can I bring and play it for you? That's Ohangla. Yeah, so that's the Ohangla. So I'm trying to maintain it, and that's why I'm doing it, because of the hunger. This is the kind of music that is played when there's no power. We can do a candle. It goes on. Because a long time ago, people were just playing it in darkness. You could hear the sounds and everything. And this is what I'm trying to maintain. It's the kind of music which is, that is played even when you are as old as what, you still continue with it. And uh, my instruments are not really made. This is uh, a uh, uh, roto. Made of, uh, made of wood, monitor skin here, this is just a wood, this is just a wire, locally made. I use beads like this one from fallen trees. I don't cut trees because I have to obey the environment. You see, you get me? You have to obey the environment. So I do use, uh, I make beads from fallen trees. So I make the beads. And this is the kind of beads we have made a long time ago for our grandmother's, for father's music. They should dance wearing this one, this bead. So this is what I'm trying to bring up to the society. Yes. Oruto, I was so much, it was a passion in me. So there's another boy called Apoyo. Apoyo comes from South Nyanza. And you know South Nyanza, people are the people playing this. Oruto. Oruto is played from South Nyanza. Yet it is from Siaya. So Apoyo came and oh, I mean, taught me how to play this. He did it for some six months. So he left me and I continued with it up to now. So I was kind of learning all the time, learning at night, every day. At now I can do it and I can play it perfectly. Yes. This is called a one string fiddle instrument called Oroto. Oroto. Yes, and we are giving another sound. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, di, do. You have to know your fingers, and each finger has to play a rhythm. And this is what I'm doing now. 
Now it has really helped me now to play it. So you can play a rhythm with no singing. So the, 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 I mean, the string on with the rhythm will just tell you something is being played. Like this one now. Na hiyo ni sound ya lek. Hii ndio sound ya huku sasa. Hiyo ni wiki mtu akisikia hiyo anapata hiyo picha ya Lake Victoria. Kwa nini inakuwa hivyo? Ah because uh, you know it is played it's more, this one is mostly played in the evening when the sun is setting by the time the waves are now going down by the Lake Victoria unaona. So it's played like that the ribbons go so like that. Sometimes I go play it in the in the boats. I go with the boat it's there by the time the sun is setting. Now the sound can be heard to a very far distance when things are cool and things are quiet yeah, things like this or otu or otu what's your name my name is lona ochieng what's your name lolali kalu okay that's good yes so this is where i am now yes haya kama mliviona basi hakuna mipaka kabisa eh i've just made by myself locally made someone makes for me then i continue making it by myself because they are locally made nothing i buy nothing i buy that's why they are local lo is a local music yes, this one, you come here i teach them some of them some of them they come i teach them how to dance a while, uh, to dance uh, traditional music and this is where i am i'm want to maintain my cultural heritage music which people are not doing they find it so hard for them to do it. Modern music, they don't want three keyboards, the instrumental from outside, from Western countries, but they are forgetting with this. This is the main theme. This is where we come, this is where we are born. This is our culture to show how it was being done long, long time ago. And this is how we are. And this is where I'm doing it. Umerekodi kwa studio? Not so much, but uh, I've recorded my two musics on how women are languishing in poverty and another for Kisumo County. What one has part of it is? Uh, sometimes I make my... They, they just get them through the media, they hear them, but uh, I've not been so much staunch to make my... Your own channel, YouTube? Yes, YouTube. Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Lona Uchia. Ziko hapo hizo nyimbo zako, eh? Lona or Lona Fiko Hangla. Yeah, in the YouTube. I am there. So una mipango ya kuende ku record zingine? So much. Like now I've been invited invited to Mombasa I'm supposed to go and want perform cultural music in Mombasa because artists like this ones no one can make them. Like cow skins. This is a, a goat skin. No one can take time to make such things to show you a traditional attire. My kind of music was with my traditional attire. Like now I didn't wear my traditional attire because I didn't know you were coming here. I would have done it. It is kind of a leopard skin like that um, the brown ogali with the a dried fish dried fish from lake victoria we take them then they do they are dried then we can cook them cook them locally with no oil on them with no nothing just plain like that then it's eaten with brown ogali to show how our forefathers used, 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 used to eat long time ago when there was no oil and everything the oil from the cow, and the cow like this skin, cow skin. We make cow skin to use, we make cow ghee to cook, cook our food. So they, everything was natural by those days, and this is what I'm trying to revive now, to use them now, up to date. I am the only person doing this. I am the only woman doing this, because no one does traditional music. Uh, my friend here, yeah, she's called who? Nyakuse is also doing it, but uh, the things like this one's cow skin, I've never seen Nyakuse. I've never seen her with this. So I'm trying to make tend them to bring them. She's also, she's also doing it perfectly, but I'm also doing it culturally also with things of a long, long time ago. Something like that. Ah, yeah, Sante San. Oh. <laughs> Monkey, this is called a monkey skin. A monkey, a white monkey, white black monkey skin.
Haya basi, mwachamila ni mtumwa kama walivyosema wahenga watu wetu wa zamani. Ni kwamba hakuna mipaka ya lugha ingawaje mdumishaji mila hapa eh, Kiswahili kinapiga chenga lakini si neno ni kwa sababu ya huku watokako ni mbali mno na chimbuko la Kiswahili lakini yupo katika Swahili Television haikuletea mengi ya utamaduni sanaa na turathi zetu mimi ni Lolani Kalu